In this video, we're gonna be reviewing our subscribers' portfolios. Yeah, people often reach out to us, they DM us and ask us to like look at their Instagram and give them feedback, or they send us photos and ask for feedback. Um, so we thought it'd be a good idea just to do a video so you can kind of listen to our thoughts and then kind of apply it to your own work. Just make sure that you take it with a grain of salt because we're not your moms and we're not photography judges. And thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. But what we're doing is assuming that you wanna make money with photography, so there's certain criteria that we're gonna be looking for. Yeah, the same way that prospective clients might be eyeing your portfolio, we're gonna to try to look at it through their eyes. So one of the first things that we're gonna be looking for is, is your body of work consistent? Do you have a consistent style? Yeah, this will help clients know that um, if they're hiring you, they're gonna get what they see uh, instead of like a grab bag of a mishmash of styles. Yeah. The next thing that we're gonna look for is we wanna know what exactly you can be hired for. Like, are you a wedding photographer? Do you shoot product photography? Like, we wanna see if that's clear. Yeah, and then we'll also be looking for the quality of work in your portfolio. The bottom line is, are you a good photographer? Yeah, and then we'll be looking for things like overly repetitive images and just little aspects like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you have a portfolio with a lot of repetitive images, it might show a client that you don't have a lot of experience. And then the last thing that we're gonna look for is do you have your own unique voice and personality and is, does that shine through your portfolio? Could I look at your photo and say, this is a Daniel and Skeep photo? Oh, and we're gonna score these. So there's five criteria, and we're gonna make each one worth 10 points. So each of these is gonna be scored out of 50. Again, this doesn't mean anything. The show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Uh, we have over 400 submissions. We'll try to get to as many as we can, but um, thank you to everyone who did submit. Oh, another thing is um, people ask us to look at their websites and their um, Instagram accounts. So we're gonna look at like a mix of both. Yeah. Okay, this is Kabir. Right away on his Instagram bio, I see Toronto. DM or email for shoots, and it says portraits, lifestyle, headshots. So that's like a lot of those things that we look for right away is what can we hire, hire you for? What do you shoot? Where are you? So yeah. that's great. Is the portfolio cohesive? Okay, so let's do a little scrolling. So right off the bat, I'm getting portraiture. Yes. And the same edit, same yeah, editing it's style. consistent editing. I think you're knocking it out of the park for category one. I will say, um, scroll a little bit. Yeah, this this very first image, which is the last image, it's actually a carousel. The feeling of this photo is very, very moody, which I mean, it makes sense that people would shift, Get moody. shift to moodier portraits right now. Um, but that one stands out to me. I like it. That's more my taste is moodier. I guess there's a moody one down here. I'll give it a nine out of 10. Okay. Uh, what can you be hired for? Um, well, you said it right in your Instagram bio, which is great. Portraits, yeah. lifestyle headshots. That's really clear, 10 out of 10 there, right? Yeah, that's really clear, yeah. Quality of work. There's some like technical things I look for, like composition, um, sharpness, making sure that you're nailing focus. Then there's things like lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, just overall creativity. Yes. So I think you're doing a really nice job. Okay, so I do notice there is a little bit of difference with your um, tone curve on some of these. So for instance... Um, some of them are a little bit more crushed. Yeah, so this one, the black point is probably very close to the bottom left on the tone curve. And, and if we move over... I'm preferring that, to be honest. That's more um, natural. Yeah, and uh, here it's lifted a little yeah, bit. Yeah, crushed is a trend, so sometimes it'll be in style, but when people are looking back at your portfolio, maybe years from now, maybe it won't be in style. Mm -hmm. um, so keeping it like closer to the natural um, side of the fence will keep it more timeless and more yeah. relevant. So I would give you an uh, 8 out of 10 for that. Then I would say like another side of that is like the creativity, like are you doing something new, um, exciting? Is it, does it kind of just look like everybody else's portfolio mm -hmm. or kind of like a copy of somebody else or a copy of a copy of a copy, which is really prevalent on Instagram. Like for example, this last post that you did, it's unique, it's moody, it has like, um, I don't know, like there's like a vibe to it and it doesn't look like it's just ripped off of somebody else. Um, but for some of these, um, getting like, like maybe kind of like Brandon Wolfley vibes, minus like the- um, Fairy lights. Yeah, kind of just like standard, like you kind of see this other places. So mm -hmm. I would challenge you to kind of go after your, even like this like newspaper um, one, since we did that one video, like we've been seeing, we get tagged in those newspaper ones all the time. So mm -hmm. we've seen that a lot. Um, and it's, to that's totally fine. Like you can like, try to do it and mm -hmm. give it your own spin and, and that's why we put the video out. But yeah, just like encourage you to kind of 
channel, whatever you were cha channeling in that last post, you know, doing something unique, telling a story that you want to tell and not just um, trying to recreate images that you've already seen. But I would say like for the headshots, some people just kind of want like a standard, nicely lit, good, good face headshot. And yeah. so I think you're doing that well. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. if you want to do more creative portraiture, definitely try to think outside the box. Try to add your own spin, your own personality to other things that inspire you. Yeah, because that's just like another thing that's going to set you apart and make people want to specifically hire you. For repetitive images, you have a lot of different images, a lot of different types of models, which is awesome. There's like a lot of diversity, so uh, we're not seeing a lot of the same people over and over again. So it's showing us that you work with a lot of different people, yeah. which is great. So 10 out of 10 there. Yeah. And then your voice and personality, we kind of touched on that with the quality, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I would say um, that we haven't been going through and reading captions or copy, um, but I'm not getting a specific kind of personality. Mm -hmm. I won't spend this much time on other ones, but I just want to like get it out. Like an example of your work showing your personality is I think of um, Nirav Patel. If you're familiar with his photography, we can put his handle somewhere. He's somebody that we've never met. I don't think that we've ever met him, but just looking at his work, like you can see exactly what his personality is like. You can tell he's he's quiet, he's like kind of humble, he's kind of like um, maybe like a wallflower, like taking in all the details. His work shows that. You can take in his personality just by taking in his work. Mm -hmm. um, not a lot of people have the ability to do that, but if that's something that you can channel um, and make it show in your portfolio, you will go so far. So um, in summary, I think you have a, a fairly strong body of work here. And uh, you know we kind of mentioned some things that can be improved on, but um, in general it's quite good. Yeah. Nice. So what's the score? We'll we'll tally up the score and put it right here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay. So for this one we have a, an actual um, website website that we're going to critique, um, and it looks like Isabel Soto is an, a travel enthusiast photographer. Right off the the bat. Right off the gate. Right, right out of the gates or right off the bat. Right off the bat, out of the gates. We see that she's a travel enthu enthusiast photographer, so we know right away that we can travel. We can, <laughs> we, can we can travel, travel with, with her. her. We can hire her for travel photography. So these three images that you have that like first show up, I actually really like because um, so the one on the left, I love it. There's a lot of movement. It's like exciting. So much emotion in it. Yeah, it's really cool. And then the middle one is just like your classic landscape with really, really nice colors. It's beautiful, serene. And then the the other one is the completely different vibe too and it's like yeah even all three. well that one has like movement uh and an action in it too but it's more solitude it's, yeah quiet um so yeah right off the gates i'm so there's a strong this. three images to start yeah. with <clears throat> and then yeah it's just like i like the mix of photos that you chose i think for these uh first nine however still cohesive while yeah. it's a, a nice mix all of the edits are very similar mm -hmm. and um yeah, I'm definitely getting a cohesive vibe yeah. from this one. All right, so let's uh, just click around for a minute. Uh, check portraits. Cool. It's really uh, nice and clean. Yeah, so these portraits are um, not just your standard studio portraits. In fact, I don't think any of these are in a studio. They're all like on location and they're pretty unique. Um, There's like, a good amount of personality from your subjects that you're capturing. Yeah. So I like that. I'm gonna click on travel. So I think this section could be stronger. Yes, so I was loving the travel vibes on mm -hmm. the landing page. Yeah. Um, but here, like we have a couple of close-up photos of flowers, which are fine to include, but I don't know if I would put them right up front. Like I'm not getting a lot of um, like drama and excitement yeah. from, from flower images. And there's like a couple yeah. Um, our rule of thumb is try to have only like one photo from each sort of shoot or like one genre of photo mm -hmm. in your portfolio if you have to do two or three because maybe you don't have that many shoots under your belt. Um, space them out a lot so that people kind of forget about it when they get to the next one and it kind of seems like there's more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, right off the bat we have these two. Yeah, two so shows. I would say like bring back more of that stuff we saw on the landing page. Yeah. Okay, let's Give us check some out. Drama. Contact, I wanna make sure we can contact you, that's good. And then the bio, 
I, we always recommend including a photo of yourself on your About Me, so that's good. Yeah, and a photo where people can see your eyes if you have to meet up with them, like especially for wedding photographers, so that they... Um, it's like trust. People well, trust they also know what you look like when you have to work with them in person. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that I was going to mention for this is um, the copyrights 2018, which is a very hypocritical thing for me to bring up because I never check mine and it's probably really outdated. Yeah, it's really noticeable, and if you want clients to hire you, they might they might see that and uh, think that you're not like actively up. working. Yeah. Um, and then, um, if you can af afford it, um, you can you can get your own custom domain uh, for like ten bucks. So I would I would maybe uh, recommend doing that. But um, if you're just starting out, I understand that you can save money by by not getting a custom domain. This is where we go to our Sp Squarespace ad break. <laughs> Okay, ready? Now. Squarespace! All right, my first time making a website. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. Let's do this. I'm already done making my website. Are you surprised? I am. I'm really impressed with Squarespace's blogging tools. Yay. Whoa, they've got email campaigns? I'm totally gonna send one. <sighs> that was totally worth it. Look at all this traffic overview. It's all right here. A year ago, I didn't think I could have my own beautiful website, but Squarespace made it so easy. Thank you. This year, give yourself the gift of your own beautiful website with Squarespace. Save 10% when you use the code MANGOSTREET at checkout. Head to the link in our description to get started. Let's go through and, and explore this. So is the portfolio cohesive, the style consistent? 10 out of 10. Yeah, good job there. What can you be hired to shoot? I think that's Portraiture pretty clear. Portraiture and travel. travel. So I'll just give that a 10, 10 out of 10, 10 too. Quality of work? I think it's amazing. I think it's really good, I'm I gonna give it a nine. I think you have a really strong voice, which is later, but I mean, that's part of the quality. You give it a nine? Mm -hmm. I think it's a 10. You can always get better. Okay. Give them something to strive for. Okay, okay. Competitive images. Um, we had a little bit of it. Just a little bit. Yeah. So. And that's just a matter, like you clearly have great work. I think it's just a matter of taking an afternoon and just, you know, rearranging a little bit and, and putting some of those strong images right up Yeah, so I'm gonna, give that a, I'm gonna give that like a seven. And then voice personality. Um, it's definitely clear with your portraiture for sure. So voice personality, as far as like copy goes, I, it would be different to me than the voice personality that comes through the photos. Just do the overall. Overall, because of those two things, because I'm combining them, maybe like an eight. But I think the photos have a very, like a very strong voice. Like you're a very good photographer. Okay, we'll round up to an eight. Nice job, Isabel. Thank you for submitting your portfolio. Let's move on to another one. Okay, so next up we have another Instagram. This is from Holly, I believe. Haley, maybe. Apologies if I did not get that right, but I think it's one of those two. Okay, so right off the top, um, what does the what does the um, bio say? Visual artists. It's a little broad with visual artists. Um, I would definitely recommend kind of narrowing that down. And I have no idea where you're located. So if I was a client maybe looking to hire you, I'm like, well, they could be anywhere in the world. I would definitely recommend putting your location and then maybe a little bit more detail about yeah, what you the, need to shoot. The work that you do shoot or you want to shoot. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so people know. So let's scroll through real quick, just get an overall idea of the work. Yeah, we want to see how cohesive this portfolio is. So right off the bat, I'm seeing, um, okay, so it's kind of a short, short scroll. Yeah. I'm seeing some really strong images mixed in with some, um, like kind of like a daily. More of like snapshots, y yeah. I would say. We have a kind of like a ver hodgepodge of different subject matter. So it, it go, kind of seems like it goes from random snapshots to more portraiture. And that's kind of throwing me off a little bit. I will say that, um, like the random snapshots, those are those are fine, um, but the portraiture is like your striking work. Like that's the stuff that's really jumping out at me. Yeah. Um, and so if you're kind of trying to like find your niche, um, I'm like I would want to push you in the portraiture direction, just because these like these three images right here are really powerful. Yeah. The other ones, um, it's kind of easy to scroll by. Yeah. There's um, that really like great like a uh, strong composition that's like drawing my eye in. And the subject matter is not particularly interesting. Yeah, and also, um, I mean, I love black and white photos. I love them a lot. 
Um, but these portra portraits that are in color, are they're really drawing my eye. If you want Instagram to be your portfolio, like th this set of images, I think you should narrow that down. So um, maybe just post two of them. So is the portfolio cohesive? I would say that it's kind of broken up. Mm -hmm. Like there's like a section where it's like all black and white. Yeah. There's like some film, some not. It, seem, it seems like, but I might be wrong about that. It's, it's like if I were to hire you, I wouldn't know what I'd end up getting. Yes. Right? So yeah. I, I, I would give that probably a five, what would you say? Yeah, five, okay. um, yeah. And then is it is it clear what you can be hired to shoot? Um, I would say it's not super clear. Yeah. I would say that your portraiture is awesome and I would hope to hire you for that, mm -hmm. but um, it does. there's only a few portraits and there's kind of like a lot of sort of landscape kind yeah. of photos. So it's not exactly clear. I think it could be more clear. So I'm gonna put five, but it, yeah. that's like an easy fix. And then, okay, so then moving on to quality of work, we do have like the images that aren't as striking to me, that the subject matter is not as interesting, and maybe the, the colors and the composition aren't enough to really like captivate me. So um, I would definitely consider leaving some of these out, like here. Um, I think it's just like a street shot of walking by a cafe or something, but I don't really, this guy's face is blocked and I'm not really, there's a lot going on, so I'm not really getting much out of that as just a viewer. So um, I think that could be improved. Your portraits are really interesting. And yeah, I love this um, like double exposure. The colors are great and that's interesting. The mood of that is awesome. And then down here, that's the, once again, colors and light. Mm -hmm. Your subject, uh, that look is really uh, intriguing, so I love that. Yeah, I love this side pro uh, profile. And then this other one where she's like looking into the bottom, mm -hmm. um, like to the right corner, um, which makes it like feel like a trapped, which like mat matches her mood. Mm -hmm. I don't have good words today, but you know what I mean. It's Mr. very, robot style. <laughs> it's very yeah, intriguing. It's kind of like I said, like a grab bag of you don't know if you're going to get like mm -hmm. a really strong portrait or kind of like a, a landscape yeah. photo. So I'm going to give a six for quality. Okay. Does that sound good? And then repetitive images. We kind of talked about this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's kind of, like if, if you are using Instagram as your portfolio, I would kind of narrow it down to like your strongest black and white um, landscape images. I would just keep going back and sort of archiving images as you go, as you get more work. Um, mm -hmm. Images that don't really align with um, your you style. Now, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, oh, so for repetitive, Images. Oh yeah, we're still not done. I'm gonna give that um, a, a five again. And voice personality, I think that comes through more with your portraiture. Yeah, um, lots of personality in there. Yeah. Yeah, like there's definitely personality there. Um, but some of these, like the, like these naturey ones, it's kind of like, um, mm -hmm. like I've seen this before, and like I'm not getting your personal voice. Like mm -hmm. this could be anybody took this photo. Um, so yeah, so I would challenge you to, like you obviously have like a really strong voice. I would challenge you to kind of like hone in on that yeah. and kind of um, set aside some of these um, more common photos. Okay, let's Good see work. if we can speed up these next ones a little bit. <laughs> next up we have Solomon. Okay, so right out the gate, off, off the, the bat, bat, we have um, all of the different genres that he yeah. shoots. Portrait. What he's available concert. to shoot. We have portrait, here, sorry. Portrait. portrait, concert, travel, event, and videography. So that's awesome. If I'm a client looking to hire you, I know exactly mm -hmm. what you could be hired for. Let's check out portraits. Cool. Okay, so again, not your standard studio portraits, which there's nothing wrong with those, um, but this is really um, fun to look through. Yeah. These are kind of like on location. Each one is very unique. Um, to each client, and so if, if I'm a client and I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, well, there's also some studio work too, so it's like a good mix. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to, yeah. to see what you could do for my portrait session. Yeah, exactly. I like each one it has its own flavor, its own uniqueness to it. So, um, but but as a body of work, it, it all looks, you know, fairly cohesive. And yeah, and I really like. I don't know what we're on cohesive. Yeah. Okay, never mind. My that was going to be for a different. So in general, I think the cohesiveness is, is almost there. There's just a few that maybe stick out to me as like not matching. Yeah, okay, so the edits are pretty similar on a lot of these. There's a few of these graduation photos. Yeah, I would say like the graduation ones stick out to me, not not just the subject matter, but the edit also seems a little bit different. Yeah, mm. the edit's different, and then also they're like more posed in a different way. Like yeah. the other ones are posed more like in a editorial 
style where these are like posed like classic yeah, portraiture like a studio. For, yeah. So what I would recommend since most the, the vast majority of your work is um, kind of more artistic in yes. with its posing is only sh I would assume that's like what you like shooting. So I would remove the more um, posy stuff and just focus on the more creative type directing. Show stuff. what you want to shoot is what we usually yeah. say. However, for this case, I will say that um, for that like for more artistic stuff, it's kind of harder to get paid work for mm. that kind of thing. But it and it's a lot easier to get like these like a graduation yeah. photo. Um, so it, it might not hurt to have that on there or to leave it on there mm -hmm. if that's where you're, you're making your money right now. True. But um, but if you are making money uh, like with your artistic work and that's your passion, I would only show show it then. Yeah. What would you give it for cohesiveness overall? All of the artistic images are very cohesive and all of the graduation images are very cohesive, but together they're not cohesive. So right. I would say maybe like a seven. Mm -hmm. And even with uh, like the concert photography section, it looks like um, this most recent concert was maybe edited one way, the next one was edited another way, and then so on and so on. Yeah, so, so again, if I'm a client and I'm like looking to hire you mm. for a concert, I don't know if I'm, like I might really want this top style, but then I might get the, the one underneath it. Yeah, exactly. I just don't know what I'm gonna get. So yeah, to keep it all consistent, shoot what you love, edit how you love, and then keep that consistent throughout your profile, and then people mm -hmm. will hire you for that. Yeah. And then, uh, what can you be hired to shoot? I'll give that a 10. 10. It's very clear. Yeah. Um, quality of work? So, it's there's a lot of really creative images and a lot of like creative uses of light. There's just a few, like, um, here, go down a little bit. Like right here, like we have like a Dutch angle. Mm -hmm. um, there's just a, a few things that I might um, remove to keep the quality and higher. And this one seems like maybe a little too dark. Yeah. Like the lighting's just a little. Yeah, but there's a lot of really strong images too. Yeah, so I think creative portraiture is your strong suit. From is, That's what I'm getting from this. So I think overall I'd give it maybe a seven. Yeah, say? I would say for like a lot of those creative portraits, I'm like higher mm -hmm. up on the scale. Yeah. And then just some of those other ones, I would just honestly just take them out because they're just not your strong photos. Um, repetitive images, I'm not seeing um, too much repetition here. Um, that there couple is, is shown. There's this one shoot that I keep seeing because this I love it so much. Yeah, with these the yellow outfits on this red wall. It's in there a few times, but like we mentioned before, you've spread them out. Mm -hmm. um, it's so not it's, too much. Yeah, we're not seeing them all. Like you have to scroll. Yeah. Like when I see the next one, the other one's already gone. And when I see the next one, that one's gone. Mm -hmm. So they're not even like on the same, on the page at the same time. So I would give you um, an eight. Yeah. And then voice personality. I think that's pretty clear. I would give that an eight as well. Yeah, yeah, the artistic, like in your artistic images, yeah. there's definitely a voice and personality. In the um, like sort of graduation portraits, which seems, there seems to be like quite a few of them in there. Not so much, but again, that's one for the meal, one for the real, yeah. we say. All right, good job, Solomon. Okay, full disclosure, we've picked this person because he shares a name with our dog. Okay, so looking at the top again, we have photographer, we have a location, DM for rates and collab, that's that's all fine. Um, okay, so that's good. All right, there's some cool stuff here. Yeah, a lot of what we call neon noir. Mm -hmm. I'm a sucker for those double exposures with the neon sign and the, the person, I like those. Okay, so right off the bat. Out of the gate. Mm -hmm, we are looking for cohesiveness. And I am, by golly, getting cohesive. I am overwhelmed with cohesiveness. Yeah, there. it's a lot of night portraits, um, a lot of neon lights. Mm -hmm. Towards the bottom, that I mean, kind that's of- that's probably a long time ago. Yeah, that kind of goes away, but clearly for quite a while, you've been shooting these night mm -hmm. portraits. So I know exactly- What you like shooting. Yeah, I know. If I need some night portraits, that you're the guy to go to. And then, um, I also am getting a bit of your personality here with the, you have like these kind of, I call them captions, I'm not sure if there's a better name for them. Um, I actually like those, so I feel like it's also helping enhance like the story you're trying to tell with your photos. So for cohesiveness, I... I gotta give that a eight plus. nine. Oh, nine. Well. I think that that's pretty cohesive. It is pretty cohesive. I've been convinced, let's do a 10. Yeah. It's not about anything other than like, is it cohesive? Yes, it's cohesive. Is what you can be hired to shoot clear? Okay, so this is where I think you could improve a little yeah. bit, even just like right up in your bio, like 
figure it out what it is you love to do and then make sure you include that in your bio or, yeah. or make it very, very clear in your portfolio if you're not going to. Okay, so so for what you can be hired for? I don't think it's totally clear. I think that there's some like portraits and like we, obviously you can do night stuff, mm -hmm. but beyond that, like I don't know. I might give that a seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then quality of work, um, I is like it. It's 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 like a it definitely has your own personality on this like neon noir style, and it's not to me it's like not being too trendy with some of the like the stuff I see. It still has a little bit of your own unique spin on it. So. Yeah, I would say like it's following trends, but it doesn't look like everything else I've seen. Like it's yeah. it's still different. It's a little enough. fresh. Like I love this set right here. That's really cool. It's interesting compositions, good lighting. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, quality, I would give it um, 8.5. Okay, you're putting in a decimal point? Yeah, we're adding a decimal point. I like it. All right. Um, and then repetitive images, I'm not. This is like if we see the shoots repeating too much, then it just feels like, oh, you've only done three shoots and you're just. Yeah, like uh, for Instagram, I kind of think of it as like three photos from a shoot in a row is fine because I don't, that's just pretty standard to me. And then if I start seeing like that same shoot again and again, like over the next like nine, 12, 15 images. I'm like, it's getting repetitive, mm -hmm. but um, I'm, I'm seeing a nice mix. Yeah, I don't get that on here at all. And the really. different aspect ratios and the different um, types of, of lighting all feels a little bit different. So I think it's not, not very repetitive at all. Yeah. So I would give that a 10. And then uh, voice personality, I think you're doing a nice job with a, a lot of that. So. Um, I would give that a nine. You know, I would say just keep keep remixing that neon noir by injecting your own personality into it like you've been doing. Cool. So Chester, nice job. Thanks for submitting. Thank you so much to everyone who submitted. I know there's over 400 people and we can only get to six, but we thank you so much for submitting and hopefully you can take some of this feedback and just apply it to your own portfolio. Just look at it from, try to look at it from our perspective and, and note the things that we've talked about and make sure that um, it's the best it can be. Yeah, more important than looking at it from our in, our perspective is looking at it from potential clients' perspective. Right. Because that's how you get paid. And once again, um, these scores don't matter, of course. It's just to maybe give you um, an idea of how we would rate it. So don't take it too personally or an anything idea like that. An idea of how, how you can improve and yeah, do better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, all it is is um, trying to make you better and it's not trying to bring you down at all, so. Yeah, um, I, I wouldn't want people to score me. So if you don't like your scores, then just we just, I mean, made it up. Just so. unsubscribe. <laughs> just hit that unsubscribe button if you didn't like your score, <laughs> no hard feelings. If you like this video, we have a lot of other portfolios we could look at and we can do another one. Um, so let us know in the comment section if you want us to do that or let us know if you don't want us to do that. Yeah, I think it was kind of interesting to do uh, portfolios this time around um, instead of just individual photos. So yeah. um, hopefully you got something out of it and um, hit that subscribe button if you are okay with the scores and like this video. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in the next one.